What's up, everyone? Today I'm here to bring you guys a cool black dragon beginner's guide, uh, which means that I'm not using anti fires, overloads, turmoil, doing that, doing that full stuff. Um, I recommend at least 75 magic so you have access to polypore or staff of light, uh, cape, any cape that boosts magic stats basically, um, and the fury glory works, um, at least, at least Gano or uh, subjugation if you can afford that, and a ring of wealth. For your familiar, I recommend at least a Spirit Terrible which require 52 summoning or a War Tortoise at 67 summoning. Uh, as these help you store food and, you know, potentially last longer. Okay, for POS, one regular anti-fire, one super restore, and one super magic potion. And it's a quick teleport in case uh, you get wrecked. Alright, let's go in. As soon as you get in, there's like a 30 second window for you to pot up, drink your uh, super magic, put on protection range, and get ready. Oh. Alright, what you did there was um, a flame wall. You want you just want to put the shield on and run. Towards it, so you just hit, you get hit one uh, 750 compared to you just stand there, then you hit, get hit two 750s, and then you just basically keep this down. You want to asphyxiate a wild magic as much as you can, because these are like the main thresholds that will get her down HP really fast. Do I did there? I put my shield and my guy all back and ran forward because I had um all retaliate on and I took no damage. You activate that artifact and then prepare for the second phase. It gets pretty simple until yeah, she spawns the soul. In this case, I wasn't fast enough, but you can easily dodge it by running to the left or right of the soul. That's one. Put the second artifact and get ready for phase three. Towards the end of each phase, uh, she'll spawn a lot of grot ones. Um, the quicker you get to the artifact, the least grot ones you spawn. So. If you start cycling, you just want to kill his torture soul as fast as you can, otherwise, they start healing 200 off of him, and then that's not good, because then you have to, they have to DPS it down to that amount of again, which is not good experience.
I'm about to tell you about this. Alright, now we're at the fourth phase. At this phase, he gains um, a time stop, which a soul will move to either side of the, of the arena and then just start chanting time and short. And then at that point, you want to kill that soul as fast as possible. I'll see if I can show you one mistake. Yep, um at the end of the fourth at the end of fourth phase. Yeah, she just did a time stop over here. But it's just fine to really kill them. Um at that phase, you just activate the last or a last um artifact over here, and then you're done. You go downstairs to get the loot. I can say you guys can make at least two million hours to three million hours depending on your luck here at QBD. And um, this guy is dictated to people who don't have all those high requirements for overloads and turmoil and still want to make a little bit of money here. Um, that, that's what this guy is dictated towards. Toward. So um, hope you guys all enjoy and peace out.